Hey everybody, happy Wax on Wednesdays. I got a lot of notes and questions from you guys last week for last week's video on adding alcohol inks to that oil stick on the gel press plate and making the mono print. So I thought it would be fun today to experiment both on the gel press plate, the Yupo paper, which is traditional for alcohol inks, and also the ceramic tiles, which I've used for a couple years with that alcohol inks. So you can see here, the key, I got a lot of questions on the spreading of the alcohol ink over that oil stick. And you see the key here is a really super light layer of that oil stick. So I applied some white RNF oil stick to my gel press plate, super light layer, and I made sure that it was completely smoothed out with my brayer. So that you can, and that so you can see it's starting to spread there with the blue versus the Yupo paper over here. Now this is dry Yupo paper. I don't have any other alcohol ink on it at this point. I don't have any, I haven't sprayed any alcohol to help or extender to help it spread on that Yupo paper. That's just straight Yupo paper versus uh, the gel press plate with the oil stick. Now I'm not as versed on Yupo paper as some of the alcohol ink artists. So um, I am comfortable with working on alcohol inks on the ceramic tiles, but because Yupo paper, uh, you can't use Yupo paper with encaustic because it's not porous, I don't use it as often. I don't play around with it as often. So here I'm gonna pull a print uh, with the oil stick and the alcohol ink off the gel press plate there and see, and I'm trying to do them sort of similarly um, and get, you know, to see, uh, match the effects a little bit better. I'm trying to make a similar pattern here on both pieces of paper and just sort of play around with both of these surfaces. And I'm using um, both Pinata inks and the Ranger. So I have both sets. I have the Exciter pack from um, Pinata, and then I also have the, um, one of the larger Ranger sets. And so I'm just playing around with all the blues and greens from those two sets really. And again here, you can see it's spreading really well on that uh, gel press plate. And that's because of the A super thin layer that I added and also um, the fact that I smoothed it out with a brayer. And that's really important because you're really making it, it ensures that your layer is a nice and light and also that there's no bulky, um, no bulkiness in that oil stick. Otherwise it's going to pool in the, uh, your alcohol ink will pool wherever your oil stick is, um, you know, if you used a brush or something instead of that, it will pull inside that instead of um, having a nice smooth layer with that brayer. So you can see now here the um, they're starting to spread when they have a little bit of more ink on it, then they're starting to spread nicely. And of course, the benefit of the Yupo paper is that you can take it and um, and spread it really, you, know, you can tilt it this way and that way and and get them to um, to morph into one another and and do beautiful things here I just took the end of a pen because I wanted to recreate a scratch mark that I got accidentally off that first print and um, oftentimes I will recreate the same thing over again if I find something that I like and I'll try to enhance it try to expand further on that so that came out nice and I might do that farther down the line um, experiment a little bit more with that, making a little bit of negative space marks with something soft um, there on the gel press plate. Here, I'm just going to play around with this Yupo paper because I'm not um, as informed. I haven't played uh, played around with this extensively on this Yupo paper, and this is um, Yupo paper medium, by the way, and it comes in both opaque and translucent. So you can also be work, you know, work on, a, and a thin, it comes in different thicknesses too. So this is pretty thick. This is a medium, but here I'm just playing around. You can reactivate that alcohol ink with, um, the 91% alcohol. That's what I'm spraying on. There's 91% alcohol rubbing alcohol just from the, the drug store. If you can get it right now, I had, I happen to have some on hand, um, a big bottle for, from months ago. So, um, I don't know if that's available to everybody right now, but that's, that's what I'm, uh, using here is the 91%. And here I'm adding just that mushroom color. I like the mushroom with the blues and the greens and they are starting to spread now that there's other inks on the paper, they're starting to spread 
really nicely into one another. Their, their, um, colors are feeding into one another and they do, I, I'm finding that they, they're at this, this point, they're spreading pretty much the same on the dry Yupo paper as they were on the, uh, on the gel press plate with the oil stick. So, so far they're spreading about equally. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in that ceramic tile, and this is just a 4x4 four four ceramic bath tile from the hardware store. I love using these with alcohol inks, and this I'm really, I've used for a couple of years now and really, um, really worked with them. So you can see it spreads right away on that tile. That tile is so shiny and so slick. It is the perfect surface for alcohol inks, and it just, you can see that spread. Now that is a significant spread. So it's spreading, I would say, more on the tile than it is on the gel press plate with the oil sticks at this point. It's spreading a lot more. Okay, and again, I'm gonna try to recreate this uh, pretty closely to the tile, but remember when I do the print, it's gonna, because that white background, it's gonna dilute the, my colors a little bit and make it give that grunge effect like it did, uh, just like it did last week. It's not gonna come out bright and brilliant uh, like it does here on the tile or the Yupo paper. So that's the one difference is that um, it, it sort of has a muted effect with that white background. But that's what I ended up really liking about these monotype prints is that that muted background, that sort of grungy background that creates, it creates, lent itself a little bit better to adding additional mark making. So um, if I did that on the um, the brighter tiles, it might the mark making might not show up as sort of as bold and, and um, nice. And I think it's a nice contract contrast to have that sort of muted background like this and then add some really bold uh, mark making into it later on. Okay, and on this one, I'm just gonna take a minute and play around with that Yupo paper here and see if I can't recreate something similar on the gel press plate with the oil stick when I'm done. So I'm just gonna, um, this one I've sprayed first with 91% alcohol ink. I'm just gonna go ahead and play around with some colors and some, um, some see how they spread and see how they work out. And a lot of times I do go to a different, to a different medium to play around a little bit to see if it gives me some ideas to, uh, to go back into my own work. And sometimes you need that. You need a little, a little play break, uh, from your normal medium, uh, to, to go ahead and get some, you know, just some creative ideas to go back and, um, maybe use in your own, um, in your own medium. And I find that once I have the ink all the already down, one layer of ink already down on the paper, you can see now that ink, that second layer, even though the first layer is dry, that second layer is spreading really nicely now that there's already alcohol ink down on the paper. So now I'm getting a different effect. And you can see, look at all that spread. That's spreading as much or even a little bit more than the... Uh, alcohol ink on the oil stick on the gel press plate. So now that's, that's a significant spreading right there. And that's after a laying down a second layer. So I'm going to take this first page that I sort of played around with and spray some more, uh, 91% alcohol ink. I'm going to reactivate it and waste not want not. I'm going to see if I can use this page without making mud and use it to recreate something also on the gel press plate. So I'm gonna take a little heat gun there and dry it off and that's fun too to make that ink move to use a heat gun. Um, there's all sorts of different heat guns that you could use with alcohol inks. I'm just using my regular encaustic heat gun, my paint heat gun, but there's all sorts of different ones you can use to make that ink move. And one thing, I never find a medium that is not messy. So um, the alcohol inks are really, really messy Again, putting on a layer, light layer of white, and you can see that brayer picks some of it back up too. So I'm not getting a super, that brayer almost makes it so I can't lay down a really heavy layer of, of that oil stick. And there the spread is about even, I would say. That's the same color, maybe a little bit better on the Yupo paper there. But you can, I'm laying down the same exact color, almost in the same exact 
spot so you can really get a feel for how they're expanding on the different surfaces. So that's really fun. It's a fun experiment just to do it side by side and see how it expands on the oil stick on the gel press plate and then also how it expands on the UPO paper side by side. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of green right there in the center and see how it bleeds into the other colors and it's going into that blue really nicely. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and there it expands into the blue really nicely on that side as well. I'm going to experiment a little more, add a stripe of white to both sides and they both have a similar effect there bleeding right into the blue, a little bit of gold on both sides, trying to recreate it in the same, pretty much in the same areas here, just to get, so I'm, I've got the effect created identically on both sides, adding a little bit of mushroom here to both of them. Both of them are expanding nicely. Now I'm going to add some alternating stripes with mushroom and gold and see how they bleed into one another. And it almost looks like it's bleeding in nicer on the gel press plate, but of course, then you have to take the print of it. And that's the difference, that lovely tilting effect. Oh, but I can get it here on the gel press plate a little bit as well. So that's exciting. A little bit more alcoholing so that, that has a nice effect too. tilting the gel press plate worked a little bit and I can see now my um, up here in the left hand corner I'm gonna lay down that print but that blue at the top was drying a little bit so whether or not that print will come off with the blue on the top no see the little hole right there that blue and that green had dried and so you get that negative space there in the center where that happened so i'm going to try this again and i'm going to do a couple of things different and first of all i'm going to try to do it a little bit quicker so i don't get those negative spaces on those brilliant blue colors and second of all i'm going to add a little bit of color to the background now when i add color to the background it's going to make it bolder instead of lighter. And here I'm adding, I added white and then I added a little bit of green at the bottom and a little bit of the uh, blue at the top. And it's gonna make the background just a little bit bolder when I pull that print. And here I'm gonna try and recreate it almost exactly like the other one. A Little bit of tilting there. and get it pretty close. And here I did it a little bit faster, so hopefully uh, those nice bold colors like the blue will come through. And hopefully the background will be just a little bit bolder. And there it is. Quite a bit bolder than the ones with just the white background. So I'm going to try this one more time using the colors on the background. I really like that effect. I'm going to ex try to expand that a little bit further. If you'd like to see the bonus footage of the Wax on Wednesdays videos where um, sometimes I show behind the scenes footage, uh, sometimes some bonus footage, some extra, um, extra things, slowed down videos, more commentary, then check out the Busy Bee level for the Patreon page. All new this month, this will be the third installment of the Wax on Wednesdays bonus sections. And once you subscribe, you have access to all of the previous uh, all of the previous videos. So um, so far we, this is our third third one for the Wax on Wednesdays and so you have access to all three videos and as we go forward of each month you'll have access to all of them and you can refer back to them whenever you want. So it's a fun it's a fun um, fun way to get a little bit more uh, Wax on Wednesdays painting and um, and joining me for a little bit more uh, painting fun each week. I'm going to leave a link below the video of how to get to that Patreon page. This is on the Patreon page and not on my normal workshop website because um, Patreon has it already set up so nicely. It's like bringing you guys a uh, little mini workshops each week. So I thought it was really, it's really exciting and I'm excited about it here. Now you saw how bold the tile and the UPO paper um, was. So I'm going to, on this one, I'm going to attempt to make 
the print a little bit bolder. So I'm just going to play around with this a little bit and add some blue oil stick, some deep blue oil stick here to the bottom of the page and just try to make that background, just make it pop just a little bit. It's never going to be as bright as the Yupo paper or the tile. It's just, um, it's just not going to happen, but I can make it a little bit bolder, make it pop a little bit more. This last one came out a little bit kind of blah and, um, and we want to make certain areas sort of stand out. So um, I've got both some blue oil stick and some green alcohol ink. And I'm going to go ahead and trim off the edges of this one. So when I go back on my second printing there, I can really match it up nicely. And my whole goal here is just to get a little bit of a pop and get it just a little bit bolder overall um, to, um, it's never going to match the Yupo paper or the tile, but it can have a little bit of pop and a little bit, a little, just a little something more. And so that, I really like that, um, that sort of bolder color at the bottom. So, um, a second printing is nice. And here you can see how pale it is at the top. It doesn't match the Yupo paper at all. So I'm going to try both a turquoise oil stick and also two lighter blues, of the alcohol ink and see if I can get it to match a little bit better to match that Yupo paper. And boom, you can see there, it's almost the same exact color as the Yupo paper on the top. So it's still a little bit plain. That Yupo paper still has a little bit stand out, a little bit of pop to it. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of gold and my camera is gonna cut off here, but you can see the end piece here. And this is all three pieces together, the Yupo paper and the tile and the monoprint. So I hope that you really had fun with this week's Max on Wednesdays and have fun with these alcohol inks and monoprints. So we will see you next Wednesday. Happy Wax on Wednesdays.